Hey there. Um, I got a holy grail today, which um, set off this video. I've been looking for this for a very long time, and a forum member was simply asking about, or not a forum member, but a uh, Facebook group member was uh, just simply asking me what F-Zero merchandise was out there. And I was like, well, here's everything I know, and these are the things I'm still looking for. And he goes and looks and sends me a link to one of the things I've been looking for forever. And they end up, ended up winning it, which, um, huge deal. But let's go through and look at some of the things, kind of in order of coolness, I guess. Um, there is a pin, an F-Zero GX pin that I have that I can't, um, that I'm not going to show. It actually broke, which I'm upset about. It's still like mint in package, but not so mint because the stupid pin like busted in half. It's not like I did anything to it. It just, it's found that it's very thin metal or soft metal and it just kind of, I don't know, it just fell apart. Um, so yeah, there's an F-Zero GX pin that we won't be seeing. Uh, there's a couple other things we won't be seeing, but um, here's what I've got. So this is um, a board game from the original F-Zero, Super Nintendo F-Zero. We'll just, uh, it's called the F-Zero Night League Real Racing Simulation Game from Tomy. And there's a nice, there's the board here, and there's a nice little character card with Captain Falcon and Samurai Goro and Pico and Dr. Stewart. And it has like their name and the name of their car and F-Zero Racer. Um, and yeah, here's the, so it's like a standard board game A to B kind of thing. And there's multiple, so you can see Sand Ocean on here, Big Blue, Silence, so there's different leagues. Here's Mute City, and Death Wind, and the art on here is fantastic. Not sure if that was like used, if this was, if it was made just for this, or if there was like a, if this stuff was in the manual, but it seems awfully big to be in the manual. Speaking of a manual, there's the manual for the board game, and there's um, just details in here about what you're supposed to get, and pieces, and blah. There's a nice little thing there with Samurai Goro being <laughs> someone kicking a rock at Samurai Goro. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, that's good stuff. Um, okay. Comment card or something. And then you have your cards about how to move. And these are all still in a, like a little paper strap thing. So there you go. S-Jet card. These are like speed and... All kinds of different stuff so we'll leave those alone and what else do we have here oh these are your character cards with like little things that you um oh man cool the art on here is fantastic um there's the blue falcon fire stingray Wild Goose, or Wild Goose, and then what was it? The Golden Fox. Um, it has the designer of the, that's funny. So see, Data Designer. So these two are unknown, the Fire Stingray and the Blue Falcon. But check this, Kevin Stewart designed, <clears throat> excuse me, designed this ship. I think they meant Kevin, as in Dr. Kevin Stewart. Um, <clears throat> Sergeant Lipot, or Lipot, or Lipo. Engine, yeah, there's all kinds of interesting little stats here that probably mean nothing to the game. So there's your character cards. And then we have 
the pieces. Now, what the bummer part is about the pieces is they're all the same. They're, they're colored correctly, red, blue, green, yellow, but they're all kind of this same ship. Um, it looks like a combination of all of them, really. It more closely resembles the um, wild goose, I guess. But it doesn't. The wild goose doesn't have that big fin on it, and there's boosters in the back, and whatever. So that's kind of a bummer that they're all the same. Then you have this board that houses it all. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> this says something right here. This is no game. My ass is on the line. Oh my god. <laughs> where, where is that? Okay, this little comic right here. Uh, now you'll learn how men do battle, says Captain Falcon. The first line was uh, Samurai Goro. Pico says, I hate losing to any driver whose blood is red. And then Dr. Stewart says, I shall win to honor beautiful women everywhere. Whoa. So many problems there. That's great. Plus cursing on a Nintendo product. Uh, that's fun. Um... So yeah, that is the board game. I will put all this back together as is tradition in these videos later to keep things moving, but I have to remember to do that. Okay, there is the board game. So the next thing, let's see, da, 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 are these booster dash cars. Now we're moving toward F0X here. And these are like little, um, you can see what the product is right here. It's, uh, what do they even call these things? Booster Dash. Um, you hit the little shooter and it shoots the car out and it goes really far. Uh, I guess these are these also have lights and sound. I've never opened mine. Um, this is the Black Bull. This is Black Shadows. So he's like, I don't know. They introduced a boatload of characters in F Zero X, and a lot of them were really goofy. And but the big bad that was supposedly introduced into the universe was Black Shadow, and he drives the Black Bull. And then. This is Captain Falcon's uh, Blue Falcon. So that's the largest official um, figure car available. Probably the most iconic thing from F-Zero. Because Captain Falcon's kind of their front man ever since Smash. Um, there are also two more in the set. You can see them on the back. There is the White Dragon and the Fire Stingray. I used to have those and I uh, gifted them to a big F-Zero fan. And I haven't been able to find them since. I was kind of surprised. I was uh, planning on getting the complete set again. And boy, these are incredibly hard to find. Um, but not as, not as hard to find as this next set. So these... Uh, really surprised me these two sets here um first of all they're amazing uh they're they're like micro machines they're called f-zero machine collection okay and back when i got them i may have gotten them for like 10 or 20 dollars in japan because you know, everything here is japan only there is no f-zero merchandise to be had in the united states um and this one has the Blue Falcon, the Fire Stingray, Wonder Wasp, the Black Bull, the Wild Goose, Death Anchor, and the Moon Shadow. So right away, in one set, you have three out of four of the original racers. Um, and what this is, they come with little stands to have the uh, racers on, but it also comes with kind of a board game deal. And it's, a, it's along the same line. You have a little paper die that you put together. Um which is kind of a bummer, just include a die. If you have like painted cars, why can't you just throw in a die? Um, but yeah, then you race along and 
seems like a pretty simplistic game. You can have multiple players. But yeah, that's a lot of cars, and that's seven cars in a box. Um, let's see, any other information on this box? Bandai, 2003. So that's what we always want to know is year and company. It's right there on the box, 2003, so shortly after F-Zero X came out. And these are going for insane prices now. I had no idea. Um, a while back, someone posted, I'm not going to mention names, but someone posted in another group um, about having be having been an F-Zero fan, and he had a couple of things, and I'm like, do you know about the painted sets and everything? And he flipped his lid, <laughs> which was fun. It's fun to tell big fans about something you know that they would love, um, which is all about what this YouTube channel is about. So um, the second set, here you go. Dragon Bird, Elegance, Liberty, White Cat, Golden Fox, there's the fourth racer, Astro Robin, Crazy Bear, and Great Star. I remember using the Crazy Bear quite a bit. Those guys are nuts. And the Great Star, just because it's weird characters. I don't remember the drivers to all these characters, but um, yeah. Oh, so the it's called the Dragon Bird, the other one of these, Dragon Bird. I think White Dragon might be the name of the guy. Anyway, this is the Dragon Box, and this is the Falcon Box. So two sets, and now they go for like 300 a piece or more, um, which I guess makes sense to how rare they are, because recently there was a Yahoo Japan auction for a ton of F-Zero merchandise, including like the Fire Sting, he had multiple Fire Stingrays of these. But he didn't have this set. So these are maybe some of the rarest things I've got. And I, I didn't realize that that would be the case. Um, they're, they're sick. They're like micro machines, you know, uh, with F-Zero characters. And they're, in, they're just bonkers rare. I had no idea. Um, which is lovely. I mean, it's, it's kind of a, a, an, a an IP from Nintendo people don't really talk about but this isn't the rarest piece in the collection and it's uh, not the coolest piece in the collection as far as I'm concerned they're very cool I love the little cars but um, the set that I was always after is this set and this set is the F-Zero Night League AFX HO scale racing slot car set that's a mouthful and <laughs> it looks so much like this set that, like, as I was looking, every time I'd see this, I'd be like, oh, is that the slot car set? And then it never was, because you'd, you'd always look for this part in the corner about the, the slot cars. So there are four slot cars in here that light up. You can see it right there that they light up on the track which I guess is kind of rare for a slot car set um, there's all kinds of these these things on the oh they use the same thing this this is no game my ass is on the line same comic right here in the corner that's two products um, yeah and there's guns and racers and pretty standard uh, slot car set except for the fact that it's f-zero cars so this has been opened so i'm going to go ahead and open it for you guys because i want to see the cars so we're going to ditch the box here and really it's you know here's the instructions it's from tomy um stuff on the characters here's everything that comes in it and like here, you have to assemble everything, of course. Whoa, that looks complicated. It's like the battery compartment or something. That's how all the stuff goes to get all the little gears and everything, goodness. Oh, that's building the car. This is assembling the vehicles for when like they need to have replacement parts or something. So all of this stuff, I'm not sure. There's the battery to it. 
heavy. And there's, you know, track parts and parts and parts. And here's the guns. I say guns, but they're more like just remote controls that have triggers on them. And if you've ever played with a slot car set, you know, it's just pull the trigger to go. And this looks like um, you can, you know, vary your speed based on uh, how much contact is making in that little uh, screw in there. But yeah, there's your little racer triggers. So, let's get to the good part. Enough about all the dumb parts. Here's the cars. Now, um, so yeah. These are just the shells. Let me see what these are here. This is the AC adapter, so. Somewhere in here is a bunch of car parts to build the cars with. But here is, um, let's take a look at the shells. Or maybe you can swap the shells. Okay. So two are built, and then you can swap the, the shells. So we'll look at the... Here is the Blue Falcon. You can see it makes contact right there with the track. And that's what makes it go. And then the lights in the back, you can see. And then, you know, same thing with the golden fox here. It says fox on it. And then the other two are just shells. So you have to swap them out if you want different, different shells. There's the fire stingray and there's the wild goose. I always thought it was bad design to have a, a booster on your tail fin, but or in your turning fin, whatever they call that piece. It's not a spoiler. But yeah. Um, so it's really, I love the accuracy of these things. Like the boosters are, are different for all of them. And that was the coolest thing to have these SNES grade <laughs> uh, figures figure parts that's obviously the coolest part of it but it's it's really cool to have the whole thing obviously to have it be all together it's really cool um so yeah that took me years and years and years of looking to find and it was just a fluke that someone had asked me because i wasn't really looking i'd kind of given up on it let's see if it says anything else about the nice part is because it's kind of a um with one ac power pack because it's kind of a lost IP now, because there hasn't been a game in so long, which is sad. But Mario Kart really kind of took it over. Um, is that it didn't break the bank to get something like this. I mean, it was it was expensive, but it wasn't like I blew my entire life savings on it. What is this, this crazy guy in the corner? He says, with this lineup, it's going to be some race. This must be like a comic or something that was around at the time. I'm going to have to do some more research into that. Or maybe it was just part of the um, part of the manual for the Japanese manual. I don't know if I ever saw this, the Super Nintendo manual because I got mine used. I think I only have the cart, but I had to check. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's another one off the list. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now I'm going to take some photos of this stuff for Instagram. And yeah, I on Instagram these days, I try to post at least one thing a day. Um, you know how life crazy. Life is crazy. Life is crazy. Um, but yeah, I do have the ability to pop down here occasionally and snap a pic of something. So uh, when I'm not able to film, that's what I do. So check that out for in-between videos. <laughs> and... Uh, have a lovely day.